All right, so today I want to talk about something that many guys struggle with, and that is having confidence with women. And you've probably heard it a million times that girls like confident guys or, you know, just be confident, bro. But what does that actually mean? Like, how are you supposed to just flip a switch and suddenly be Mr. Confident? It's like telling someone who is broke to, you know, just be rich, bro. It's just not helpful at all. So in this video, I'm going to present to you a completely different approach to building real confidence with women. So no cheesy affirmations or whatever. These are real tangible things that you can start doing today. And I'm going to build on a few concepts throughout this video. So stick with me all the way through so it'll make complete sense and you can make use of everything I'm about to tell you. So the first thing to understand is that trying to actively be confident is usually counterproductive and difficult to even define. People will give this vague, confusing advice to just be confident, bro. And everyone says the same thing. Girls like confidence, man. That's all it takes. But the problem is, is that if you don't feel confident, these phrases are basically meaningless. They don't do you any good because everyone defines confidence in a different way. And saying, just be confident, bro, isn't helpful if you're a guy who's never actually embodied the confident version of yourself with girls and felt what true confidence actually feels like for you. So what I've found when working with clients is that it's actually better to target specific actions that are the result of confidence rather than trying to convince yourself to feel confident beforehand. Because when you lack confidence, you have to start from the bottom level and work your way up. And what I mean by this is that one of the key components to feeling truly confident is having evidence that you are actually capable of doing the thing repeatedly and consistently. Repeatable results and evidence is where deeper levels of confidence truly sets in. So for example, a UFC champion is confident he can beat anyone's ass because he has evidence that he's beat a lot of people up before. But when you don't have that evidence of being successful with girls yet, you're faced with this problem of having to potentially BS yourself into trying to believe that you're confident while also not being able to actually believe it because you're trying to convince yourself without much evidence to prove to your brain that you're actually capable. So for instance, if you struggle with women and I throw you into a scenario with three hot girls and I tell you to just tell yourself that you're confident, you're not actually going to come across as confident or feel confident. Now, unless you're just a god of mind controlling yourself, you can't just believe and embody that mental state all of a sudden. So we have to do something else instead that is more tangible because that's what always bothered me when people would say well just be confident i didn't know what the hell that actually meant but when you shift your focus from mind to body it starts to make more sense which leads me to the next point and that is the idea that confidence is actually something that is demonstrated rather than this magical state that you suddenly embody by trying to think a certain way so in other words we typically identify confidence by the behaviors that someone exhibits so fighters like mike tyson and george st pierre have admitted to feeling intense fear before fights but you would never know it from their confident demeanor. The key is that confidence is demonstrated through action and how they carried themselves and performed in the fights. So despite the nerves they felt, their actions built up a track record of success, which then generated evidence of success and confidence over time. So let's bring this back to dating now and think about reverse engineering things. And let's start with traits that a confident guy would display or how a confident guy typically shows up in a real life scenario. The first trait is that a confident guy is usually unapologetic about expressing his thoughts in the moments or his views and values on a subject because confident guys are typically unfiltered to some degree. And there's a difference between unfiltered and reckless. I don't recommend being reckless and a dickhead to people, but confident guys don't second guess what they're going to say or go into some over analysis mode where they wonder what they should say. They avoid any excessive filtering process and they trust their instincts and fire from the hip. This is why confident guys can also get away with certain things that would be considered simpy or might sound cringy or lame to another guy. It's not about the specific words as much as it is about who is delivering those words. So one guy who isn't sure of himself can go up and tell a girl that she's cute and ask for her number and then get completely blown out while another guy who legitimately does not care whatsoever about what this girl thinks of him can say the exact same thing and actually pull her. And this can be done with all else being equal, meaning the same level of looks, status, etc. The main separator is purely the vibe that is given off. And the way you can begin to emulate this is by removing your own filter and releasing any attachment to the outcome. You want to start by focusing on your immediate reactions. So whatever pops into your mind when a girl says something, just say it because too many guys get stuck overthinking or overanalyzing what to say when in reality a lot of the time being honest with your first reaction or impulse is what gives off that genuine confident vibe and speaking without hesitation is one of the most potent things you can do to project and embody confidence so if you see a girl and she's cute 
just tell her and ask for the number if she's receptive. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You get denied? Because you were just gonna get denied anyway by never saying a word, so who cares? And if you catch yourself thinking, well, the guys online say that telling a girl she's cute is too much validation and simpy, then you're back to filtering yourself again. And at this point, it's about getting rid of the filter before you refine anything. It's not that you shouldn't refine anything or work on getting rid of obviously simpy behavior or trying out different approaches. You can refine the details later, but if you can't even speak your mind, you have a much bigger problem and you'll never truly be confident. Because when you're filtering yourself, you're trying to do or say the perfect thing. And when you're trying to be perfect, you just come off boring and lacking authenticity, which kills the impression of confidence. The idea is to begin exercising the ability to just speak in an unfiltered way because that projects confidence rather than having to embody this magical mindset where you just suddenly feel sure of yourself because that is not going to come before the action itself. The action in the process of practicing being unfiltered is what is going to create deeper levels of confidence over time. And if you're a guy that is severely in his head all the time, then start with smaller things here and there, like genuinely commenting on a simple observation or a small thought that pops into your head during a conversation. And over time, you'll see more positive responses to your unfiltered thoughts and you'll find it easier to express yourself in bolder and more significant ways. Because confidence grows by building these small wins over time. It's not about taking some giant leap all at once and trying to turn into Superman in two seconds. And another way to think about this is thinking about how older people are. And this is also one of the benefits of aging. Because I'm sure we have all met a guy who is 80 years old and says something very blunt without hesitating even for a second. And the reason why that 80 year old can be blunt without batting an eye is because he doesn't care at all about the outcome or what anyone thinks. He's operating in a purely unfiltered state of being and if he was 25 years old, girls would admire his confidence in doing so. Now, of course, you don't wanna be socially uncalibrated and say something that's gonna get you punched in the face or in legal trouble, but the idea is to start removing your own fears and filters. You need to speak from a genuine state of mind because people can feel when you are or when you're hesitating and unsure of yourself. And one of the ways to do this is by going with your initial impulse when you're speaking with a girl. If she says something weird, don't just sit there and smile pretending that you love it. Genuinely express your thoughts. And you don't have to be a dick about it either, but the idea is to stop doing what you think you should do and start doing what you genuinely want to do because that is what creates confidence, whether or not someone likes it. And when you stop caring about the outcome and remain authentic, you radiate a sureness about yourself that projects confidence. And this becomes even more important the more beautiful a woman is because beauty is hypnotizing to men. And more often than not, guys will begin to break and filter themselves to try and win the girl over. But all you're doing in that scenario is suppressing your confidence because you're trying to be perfect again. Now, another confident trait is to embody being the risk taker and the action taker because you got to be the dude that makes things happen when others won't. And I mean this in the context of being willing to put your balls on the line to go after what you want. And this is yet another thing you can do without feeling confident first. But by doing so repeatedly, you will start to appear confident, but then you will genuinely become confident. And with women, this goes for everything from approaching a girl to physically escalating with her throughout the entire process. Part of confidence is knowing when and how to escalate things naturally, whether it's moving the conversation forward or asking her out or going for a kiss or anything else beyond that. Escalating the situation shows that you're not afraid to embrace your natural God-given masculinity and pursue what you want. And these small steps, when done consistently, signal an attractive confidence because you're leading things on your terms. And escalation isn't just about getting a number or a date. It's about continually moving things forward to show that you're comfortable taking action. The guys that I work with will often often ask questions like, well, how do I get confident enough to ask her back to my place? And the answer is that you don't. You cannot wait until you feel confident. Just take the action that a confident guy would. Invite her back to your place if that's what you want. Because confidence grows when you roll the dice like this without needing everything to feel perfect first. And it's not just about verbally escalating either. Physically leading the interaction gives off an aura of confidence. Even the little things like guiding her to another part of the venue or taking her hand to dance with her, these small actions create a natural flow where you're in the lead and she trusts where you're taking her. And that creates an impression of confidence and the more you do it, the more you actually internalize it to where it just becomes second nature. You don't need to feel confident first. Just take those small steps and over time it will start to feel natural. And another way to think about this is it's a lot like getting in shape. You don't wait until you feel motivated to hit the gym. You discipline yourself to go and motivation follows and it's the same deal with confidence. 
You don't wait until you feel confident to take action. You take the action first, even if you're nervous as hell. You do the things that a confident guy would. You speak up, you make decisions, and you escalate interactions. And at first, it's gonna feel like you're faking it, but your brain will catch up if you keep going. You'll start seeing evidence that you can handle these situations, and then real confidence starts growing because it's built through action. So for example, if you're used to one caliber of girl, and then you have the opportunity to date a higher caliber girl, you may feel uncertain about yourself at some point in that interaction. But again, if you follow back on the actions that you know a confident guy would do that's the path you can trust and eventually your internal state catches up with the actions that you take and another thing i want to mention is that there are other things you can do to refine yourself mentally and work on your internal state and there's also more things you can do to appear and feel confident like body language adjustments tonality and things like that but to keep things focused for this video if you're a guy that leans more toward the nice guy or timid end of the spectrum focusing on the action element at first will get you way further than trying to pump yourself up with affirmations that you don't even believe anyway and another thing is that this will also remove pressure and anxiety from your mindset because you won't be struggling to force yourself to feel a certain way and instead you will know that the path to take is through tangible action and of course there are behavior patterns that might need tweaking or a shift in perspective because confidence is a process with many moving parts and mastering it goes just beyond mindset it's about how you show up in every aspect of your life and there's one crucial piece that so many guys are still missing and look i've come across a ton of guys who struggled with constant overthinking and not taking the actions that they know they should to get more girls and that used to be me too because the downside of being analytical is that you tend to overthink things a lot so i wanted to run an experiment and created something i called the four step confidence blueprint that explains exactly how to go into the real world and develop that aura of confidence and i've shared it with some of the guys that i've worked with and the results they've got honestly speak for themselves so if you're thinking to yourself i would love to achieve what those guys have and actually feel confident in my dating life for once then this is for you because i'm going to hand over the four-step confidence blueprint free of charge for the first 85 people who book a strategy call with my team over the next few days and i'm doing this because i know that if i can stop even just one person from making all the mistakes that i made years ago or wasting all the chances that i wasted which was an absolute ton the fulfillment I'll take from that will be worth the small monetary commitment and years of trial and error on my part. So just below this video in the description, you should see a link to book a call. I want you to click that button right now, book in a call with my team, and on the call, you'll receive the confidence blueprints, and my guys will walk you through each step that you need to level up your dating life and take it to the next level with my personal guidance. And honestly, all of this isn't as hard as some people out there want you to believe. It just takes the right plan and the right approach. And the minute you see the blueprint, you'll see exactly what I mean. So be sure to check it out and I will see you in the next one.